And seven short days ago, as we know, the riotous mob stormed that United States Capitol, but it was a storm of a different kind that was swirling inside that historic building today. I want to bring into the conversation CBS 11 political reporter Jack Fink. Uh, I know you spent time talking to some members of the North Texas congressional delegation regarding their concerns and also the frustration since the violence. Tell us more about that. Well, Doug, members of the Texas congressional delegation voted down party lines. We spoke with several representatives before today's impeachment vote, and it's clear the memories of the violent attack on the Capitol last Wednesday are still fresh on their minds. So uh, we broke off uh, hand sanitizer stations. I have one. This is the one that I did. It, uh, and it's got the, this is the business on it, but now we need to jag it. We're seeing protesters overcome the police. North Texas Representative Pat Fallon joined three congressional Republican Texas freshmen one week ago to help security hold the line as a mob tried to get into the House chamber. He told me before the hearing why he voted against impeachment. The mob committed the violence on Wednesday. I mean, I was literally on the front lines of it, and the president did not. On the other side of the aisle, Dallas Democrat Colin Allred. I have the gas mask that I took from the House floor here in my office. The gas masks that I put on uh, because they had to deploy tear gas just a few feet away. Allred told me that as long as he's in Congress, he's going to keep that mask as a reminder. He voted yes to impeach the president. It was very close to having numbers and numbers of members of Congress attacked, maybe killed uh, by a mob uh, just coming into the Capitol to try and stop us from conducting our constitutional duties. That was called for and directed by the President of the United States. There's no other way to say it. We're debating an impeachment that's been preceded by no inquiry, no meaningful debate, and no due process. In Freshman Beth Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne spoke against impeachment on the House floor. She told me she was barricaded in her office as the violence erupted. She characterizes Wednesday's impeachment hearing as political theater, and it's not why she went to D.C. We need to get together. We need to stop with a hateful rhetoric. We need to unify. And we need to do the work while it's not sexy, the policy work that we were sent here to do. And while we continue to have these wasted discussion, seven days we're going to have a new president. I look forward to working with a new administration. A constitutional law professor at SMU says most scholars believe President Trump could still be tried and convicted in the Senate after he leaves office next week. The professor also says the president may face more legal troubles. More on that at 6. Doug?